my Amex has been run ragged. We have got, I think actually this is the biggest haul I've ever done. Um, it was my birthday and that was the only excuse I needed. So this is everything I bought for myself for my birthday. There are a couple of gifts in here. I will explain them to you. But guys, I went to Paris and the card was swiping just a little bit too smoothly. There's also the, um, the tax off. So generally, um, most places, if you're not a uh, French resident or uh, an EU resident, so now the UK people can benefit from it as well, even though now, you know, I live in the US, but um, most places give you 12%. Chanel will give you 13% of the value of the items as a refund. It's an odd, you know, it's an odd psychological thing to get your head around because you're like, oh my gosh, a reward for spending money. Um, but either way, here we are. So don't be surprised if um, I end voyage on a no by March. However, guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head on there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. I have got a bag. Shoes, clothes, we've got Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Skia, Pirelli, Vivian Westwood, um, a brand that maybe you haven't heard of before. Let's get into it. Okay. I want to start off with a little bit of a Viv special, a Vivian Westwood special. I saw this online and I was just like, this is brilliant. It is this polo shirt, um, long dress. It's like a midi dress. Okay. Hold on. Do we see the orb? The orb is orbing, by the way, the stretch in this in general, but the v-neck on it has like a little bit of ruching, I'll show you it on. And then the ruching continues down the middle of the dress all the way down. Now I love a good polo shirt, can't go wrong, uh, a nice little polo Ralph Lauren moment, whatever. But I love the fact that it also has this one button at the top. So you can close it off at the top and just have a cheeky little you know, at the right angle, you might get a cheeky glimpse of the clavage. Um, but you can also wear it open for a little bit more sexiness. You could wear this bopping around town with trainers. You can do this with a heel. I just really liked it. A little bit of ruching on the arm as well, which I think gives it like a little bit of volume. It's fabulous and different. And that is the pieces that I'm looking for. You know, I want stuff that I can wear a lot, but it's off the beaten track. It's a little bit, you know, it's not the obvious choice. And I think this is definitely it. Now I got this in a size medium. Then uh, the other piece I bought in London, little Harrods paper there, it flew into the UK. And then basically I was like, mum, our birthdays are coming, our birthdays are, I'm end of February, she's beginning of March. And I was like, let's go, let's go on a girl's trip to Paris. Anyway, so I was wasting time in Harrods one day and I came across this shirt. Now, on first inspection, you're like, yeah, great, it's a Python print shirt. But there is one thing about this shirt that reeled me in, okay? So yes, as I told you, it's an oversized Python shirt, okay? Long sleeves, got a long cuff, which I enjoy. And I got this in a size UK 8, US 6, okay? Electric Wait, but that doesn't make any sense because US 6 is a UK 10. A French 38, a Mexican 28, a Dutch 36, and an Italian 40. Take of that what you will. But the material of this is brilliant because it's going to keep its shape. It's also one of those that even though I've scrunched it in the bottom of my case while I traveled, you know, relatively creaseless. So we like an easy life and she's lending herself to that. But it stays, it's stiff. It's not stiff, actually. That's a really, it, that's not the best way to describe it. It kind of has a life of its own, but it has a level of structure to it that it stays. So over the day, if you've decided that you want to tighten the front, it's going to look that sort of balloony and volumey all day. It's not going to sort of crumple on you or shift throughout the day. It's just, it, it has staying power. She is like hairspray, but in a shirt. You understand, you understand what I'm trying to say here. I like the fact that it is also translucent. So we can do this in the summer with like a little bralette or a, a t-shirt or a crop top and some tailored shorts and thrown over almost as a shacket. But because it's so kind of like, you know, because it's not opaque, you're going to get the air coming through, but you're also, 
if equally serving a look. I'm a really, really big fan of this. I think it's brilliant. Comes oversized. So keep in mind. I walked into the Louis Vuitton in Place Vendôme. Apparently, I think it's uh, the newest Louis Vuitton store. It's beautiful. It's huge. It has everything. I had no intention of buying anything. And I'm left with two things. But the first one being, I'm walking around by the sunglasses section. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Haven't seen these before. I'm going to put them on and then we're going to talk through it. Oh my gosh, she's intellectual. She's studious. She looks like she's got a PhD. This isn't quite aviatory style. It's this whatever, you know, you can see. It's this sort of style of sunglass. It's gold rimmed. Are you seeing the Louis Vuitton canvas monogram skinny little arms? 10 out of 10 detail. I really like the fact that this is quite simple, but we've still got a little, just a little um, treat for the logo ho inside of us. Now, the thing about these sunglasses are they're blue light glasses, so they're not really sunglasses. I, hold on actually. Oh no, it does say lunettes de soleil. This isn't going to, you know, protect your retinas when it's beating down 30 degrees outside Celsius, but it's, you know, those days when you're like, oh, it's a bit of a cloudy day. I know the UV rays are still going to get at us, okay? But don't tell me that you're so good at putting on your sunglasses. These might be a nice little in-between because these are something that you can put on all day. And as a, as a previous glasses wearer, I had LASIK when I was 18. Um, I do kind of miss the glasses of it all. And something like this <laughs> satiates my little glasses per girl inside of me. <laughs> I just really like them. They do these in a couple of other styles. They have an aviator style. And also it's gonna help. I'm on my laptop, I'm on screens all day. You know, I'm editing, I'm doing something, I'm wasting my time on social media, which way you cut it. And look, if I can do a little bit of protection for that and I look cute doing it, why not? Oh, do you want to know what actually? I mean, I'm looking at this online. Transmittance, whatever that means, 95%, UV protection 100%. Hello, thank you very much. So you've got a two in one, you can wear her inside, you can wear her outside, and you can wear her inside and not look like an idiot. This was on my wish list and I decided to get it because it would be a fabulous little birthday look and I was in fact correct. This is by New Arrivals. This is a leopard print maxi dress and I just thought it was fierce and fabulous and it has shoulder pads and you know me, that sent me over the edge. What size did I end up getting this in? Let me tell you, it's got stretch, okay? So I probably could have done, a, you know, a size, oh no, I got it in a 38. I could, probably could have even done a 36 because it's got stretch in it, but I wasn't sure it's my first time buying from the brand. So I just thought, oh, let's be safe. Really, really like it. It's very comfortable. The fabric is soft. I will say for its price, do I think that it, do I think that the price makes sense for it? No. But I will say, not all leopard print is made the same. And I do like the pattern of this leopard print. It Does that warrant the price? No. But I bought it, okay? I bought it. That's the short, long and short of it, and it looks great. So I really, really like it. I can see myself dipping into that a lot. It's statementy, it's fabulous, it's easy to wear. So the next piece was a gift from my parents, however it is also a hand-me-down. <laughs> so basically, my mum bought this jacket. And it's a jacket that I've been obsessed with, it's a Chanel jacket, for the last 18 months since it was released. So this is part of Chanel Metier d'Art, not last year, the year before. So what, 2022 Metier d'Art? I think so. Because of the extortionate price of this jacket, it was £8,000, $10,000. She did not pay this price. Um, it did end up going into the sale, at which point my mum was like, now we can talk. So she ended up getting it and she ended up realising that actually she doesn't really like the style on her and she knew that I was obsessed with it. And you know, like she'd worn it a lot and Chanel doesn't do returns, especially not for sale and stuff like that. So she was like, you have it, you enjoy. And so I gladly accepted what is the most exceptional bomber jacket in the world. It is just teeming with pearls and crystals and fabulousness and all of the goodies. And uh, gosh, what size did she get this in? This is a size 36 and I love it. And it's so me. <laughs> so um, 
her loss is quite obviously my gain. I mean, I could just stare at all of these crystals all day. I will say, another thing that like annoyed her about it, she was like, if you move your arms in a certain way, the tweed catches on the embellishments and it like pulls, right? Which also is annoying. And yes, it does, but also, listen, in this case, beggars can't be choosers. I'm more than happy. It's absolutely phenomenal. And then uh, the other gift from my parents for my birthday, by the way, we went to, usually you only get the white Chanel boxes when you buy from 31 Rue Cambon which is like the store that was um, Coco Chanel's apartment, blah, blah, blah. Like that's, that's the store. However, they do have a larger, and in my opinion, better store around the corner at 19 Rue Cambon. And they also do still give you the white. So if you're bothered about that, good, good thing, good facts to know. I saw these mum was like, oh my gosh, like you have to. And I was like, oh, but you know, I'm getting some other stuff. And she was like, I'm just gonna get it for you for your birthday. <laughs> So they are these, I'm gonna call them the loop-de-loop -loop hoops. There we go. They are these like curly whirly hoops with crystals and oh my gosh, twist my leg. You are, And they're actually sort of angled. I don't know if you can see this. The post that you put through your ear, ear is angled so that it doesn't sort of bother you. These crystals are going on a little, a little uh, roller coaster ride or so it seems. They're fun, they're cute. They've got like a little, they've got the CC and then there's also like a little flower somewhere in there as well. If you're a season subscriber, you know my tumultuous relationship with Chanel. It's a will they won't they, they won't. And then they do sometimes. And you know, it's a toxic relationship. However, when there's 13% off in the mix, <laughs> come on, stuff's already like ch a lot cheaper in Paris than elsewhere. You can't blame me, okay? So, I tried, I really, really did not expect to be getting a pair of shoes. However, tried these on and I was like, hold on a second. These are actually great. And you know me, I love a legging. I wear my Rene Calvilla boots with the swirly swirlies every autumn, winter, unfailingly. And you want to know what? She deserves a little bit of a rest, okay? Let's add something else into the rotation here for the same outfits that I would wear with those boots to ease her up a bit, okay? She's been working overtime. New employee has started. So that's why I decided to get these. They are quite a hard leather. They have this sort of rounded detail at the top, which is very Western inspired, as is this section. The toe is quite round, but for some reason that didn't bother me so much at the time. I don't know, maybe it was like the Paris haze. We'll see how I feel about them in a week. But 39, I'm, I'm a 39 in Chanel pretty much always. And then just easy to slip on. They do have a taller version, which my mum ended up getting. Here's the thing, as we know, my calves are not slim. So whilst they did get inside, they almost looked like, you know, there was overflow on top of the boot. And then I was like, this isn't right. It doesn't look good. So I did go for the, uh, like, you know, the mid calf option. You know, I told you that I got two Louis Vuitton pieces and I didn't intend to get either and here I am. Something told me to go to women's ready to wear. And as we know, I've not been the kindest to Nicola Gasquier, but there were a couple of jackets that, what was that, were calling my name. They were whispering to me in the corner. They were like, Cassie, just give us a try. And I gave in because when in Paris, try on Louis Vuitton. And then I tried them on and my mum was sat there. My mum is my biggest enabler. That, that's also why there's a lot of Chanel because my mum is like the biggest Chanel girly. And she is like, oh my gosh, you look amazing in it. You simply have to have it. You cannot leave here without paying for it. So that doesn't help. However, she also has great taste and knows me very well. And so, you know, do I ever regret the decisions? No, but alas, here we are. So I tried on this jacket. It is this kind of silky bomber that has, oh my gosh, okay, it's from the top, Cassie. What size is it? This is a size 38. It also comes in a beige that I've seen on the internet and they had a red version in store that was um, for Ramadan. Now, there are a few things about this jacket that made me fall in love with it. Number one, look, just, just look at it, just look at it. 
And if you have watched me for more than one video, you know, A, she's a logo ho, and B, this is very her. This is very me. But two elements really, really just hook, line, and sinker. The skinny ribbed arm. I love this because it makes it look like you've scooched the arms up, and I like that look. I think it gives an interesting element to a look. It gives a bit of volume. It's not just a standard sleeve. So A, I loved that. Loved that it's a high little turtleneck. I love a sodding turtleneck, okay? Shout out to the turtles. And finally, do you see the cut of the bottom of this jacket? The cut, okay? The fact that it goes up at the side. Uh, everything else, you've got gold hardware, gold buttons on the pockets. I love the sort of crop with this silhouette from the side. So I had to. It's like this watercolour. I think it's called the Cloud. Is it called the Cloud LV? I don't know. But the details of it will be below. Now I also want to say something about shopping in Paris. I don't know if it was just me. Maybe I was on a winning streak. Every single sales associate I came into contact with, whether it be Louis Vuitton, Schiaparelli, which we're about to come to, wherever, was so, so nice and was so patient and there was no pressure. I really do not respond well to pushy sales at all. I hate it. Don't tell me to buy something. It's going to actually make me not want to buy it at all. And that honestly made the experience even better, truly. Schiaparelli. It's not the jacket you think it is. So I tried on the cream denim jacket in Bergdorf here because they have a Schiaparelli and I loved it. I love the silhouette. It's so me, the way it nips in at the waist. It's just, oh. Then when I was trying stuff on at Schiaparelli, I almost bought the black cardigan with the gold buttons with all of the like skeletal detailing. It was extremely close, close between that and the dark denim version of that white jacket slash top that I tried on before. I, I do, do I have a lot of dark clothes? Yes. However, I know myself, I don't trust myself with light coloured things. It is a disaster waiting to happen. If I'm going to spend this amount of money on a jacket, I don't want to have to like think the like, oh my gosh, if I eat this thing and this happens to it, I'm screwed. I want to feel comfortable wearing it, hence I got the dark denim. And really the only difference between that one and this one is that this one does not have the tape measure here, which wasn't really a make or break for me. I love the way that the buttons pop against the dark denim with all of the little Schiaparelli bijou. The cut of it is just phenomenal. I got this in a size, I think it's a 36. And what I love about this is that I can wear it as a top with trousers, with a skirt, whatever, but also I tried it with a turtleneck underneath and it looked great. So like almost as a, as a lightish jacket. I love it. I love it so much and it makes me feel fabulous. And all of the things that I bought made me feel fabulous, which is exactly, that's the sign of a good purchase. I don't care what it is that you're buying, but if you buy it and it makes you just feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I could take on the world. I feel like the best version of me. That's the sign of a good purchase. So remember how I mentioned that all of the sales associates were lovely, which can't be said for, you know, other shopping experiences I've had. And one of the places that is notorious for many things, but one of the things is that they don't tend to have the just generally, I'm not saying that this, you know, there's outliers, obviously, but Chanel, you never know what you're gonna get. However, we really did have the nicest sales associate ever. She was an absolute dream and she was lovely. And we were just talking about other stuff as well. And um, again, I'm trying to justify the bag I bought. So <laughs> I was looking around the store and nothing was reeling me in in terms of bags or whatever. And I saw this and when you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, of course, okay? It was a more affordable price and I will tell you why, but. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I haven't looked at her since, since I bought her because I just wanted, I wanted to feel surprised again. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. Partly why this was 
a better price than a lot of Chanel bags at the moment, we know there's been price increases and all of that, is this is technically a wallet on chain. However, I looked at the Chanel website online and I know it's not all encompassing and things exist that aren't online and I could not find it. So I have no details about it other than the long number that is on my receipt. But she did say to me like, oh yeah, this is a wallet on chain. So it is this really great, I don't even know what kind of shade of pink that is, but it's not a dark pink. It's not a light pink. It's a nice in, nice in between. It's a Goldilocks pink. The hardware on it is like a really nice champagne gold, but not only is it an East West, which you know I love, okay? She's long. She is, she is lengthy and she is short, but pièce de résistance. Oh, what? The gold Chanel bar at the top. And the other thing about this bag that is very unique, that um, is quite rare in Chanel bags, is that this is a shoulder strap only. So this does not crossbody. She is a shoulder bag girl through and through. Or you scooch her in or whatever and you do a little clutch moment. A little one of these. Turn lock, again, with some wallet on chains, whatever, it's like a popper. I like the fact that it's a turn lock because it sort of looks more like a Chanel bag, I guess. Quilted, oh my gosh, this is my first lambskin. This is my first Chanel lambskin, shocking. Anyway, let's see how long she lasts, no, I'm joking. Section at the back, uh, zip section in the middle, and small section here, but there's no card slots. So, and then there's also, I mean, my gosh, there's sections galore. And there you go, I am so excited to use it. I think she is so me. I saw her, I made a beeline for her, and I was like, stop, are you looking at me? There's only one of you as well. You were just here sitting waiting for me, waiting for me to come and save you. <sighs> here concludes the end of this absolutely ridiculous haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which was your favourite piece, if anything, below. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.